Hello, everybody. It's Friday. So you know what that means. It's time. Please have a Fan Friday. Today's episode is a game called The Council. A game about a man trying to find his mother who's gone missing on a mysterious island inhabited by the great leaders of the late 18th century, I guess, is what this game is about. I really don't know. It's it's a choice-driven game, and I'm excited to see what those choices are going to get me into. So let's jump right in. Uh, save game one. So I guess this takes place in episodes. Episode one. Off the coast of England, night stroll, wines and cannons, Gorkin. Oh, exciting. Okay. New game. France. Ooh, Paris. December 10th, 1792. God, I hope the accents of this game are better than whatever the hell that was. Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borchert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. Except maybe your creepy ass eyes. Head up. Skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. A few shots of Hendrix gin. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert. <laughs> you oh, can't Von sell book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. All right? You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? That penne isn't just a pasta? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. <sighs> With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Gin and tonics will do that to you. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that Damn motto of yours. Acting. Always remain rational. Is in the pauses. And open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Act or trust her? Oh, you always trust your mama. That's just that's just fact. That's, that's, there's no other choice. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Oh, get smoked, son. I don't think she's going to miss. All right, never mind. Well Got him. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again. Mother, mother oh mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. <laughs> this is so no. silly. 
Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. How Come old on, is she? Home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. I just... She seems so much older than her mannerisms and voice make her appear. Is she like a Paris 40? Ladies led, led a hard life. It was the 1700s. One month later. Sorry, I had to. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Just shitting on some dude's island mansion. You don't have an island? The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is Who's think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary Well, we know where they spent their texture time on instead of the facial we features. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Uh, she did. I just got distracted and started following her, and uh, I ended up on the boat. It was crazy. Boobs will do that to a man. Uh, <laughs> business with Lord Mortimer? Sure. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Hmm. Oh, turn the question back on the Duchess. Yeah. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. Enough explaining the mechanics of the game to this man. Would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal, a Duchess. I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! What? What? Are you all right? What? what? Am I? Uh. Dies of aneurysm. That's it. Done. What is happening right now? What? Mother? 
Oh shit, your hand! <laughs> so? That was the best, oh shit, your I hand I've done. ever heard. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! Whoa, what the? You can run if you want to, Sarah. I am. You will pay for it. I am officially at a loss for words. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Oh, these? They do that to men. Here, take this. Oh, right, a handkerchief. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. What? It's getting late. Why don't, why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you okay are you sure yes I'm sorry I'm sure yes fine gave you a handkerchief and everything asshole I definitely have to find mother quickly am I going crazy or or what this can't be real the, the Duchess arrived with me What's happening to me, for God's sake? Emily Hill. I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay, so I can't... Can I run? Can I, like... Gotta be a run button. Gotta be a run button. Go up to the manor. Alright, sure. What's that? Oh! Whoa! Oh. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? What? 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 Okay. This went from silly to sweet. Diplomat. Diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. A cultist. A cultist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. And detective. Detective excels at investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. Uh, a hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Hmm. I feel like this? I feel like it selected this to begin with for a reason. I like the idea of Sherlocking this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. You have seven effort points to use your skills. Three points available. What the hell are effort points? So this is notice noteworthy nert <laughs> notice noteworthy nerters. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Read people's behavior like an open book. Use your logical mind or oratorical talents. Use your coordination against the surroundings and sometimes against people. Interesting. Let's do this, because that seems awesome. Questioning. I like reading someone's behavior. Uh, notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. God, that's cool. Let's do that. All right. X to validate. 
Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases, like the Chauffeur d'Orgère, for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. Mm, I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Question. Am I supposed to be French and she's English? Or am I supposed to be English and she's supposed to be French? I would assume I'm American living in France named Louis, and she's English? That's what I'm going with, because the only way this makes sense. Okay. Uh, we've already met. No one at all lie to her? Uh, yeah, no. Just, I'm a, I'm a detective. I'm straight to the point. Nah, I don't remember you. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your Yo, face. Yo, bonus points. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely <laughs> at your mercy. Where have we met? Please stop ago, torturing me. London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. What? Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have it unlocked. Okay. Oh, what? Mouth. I ask her a oh, question. Okay. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Wait, so I am I French? I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And she's immune and if to I logic? Can my vision. You don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Sure. Wait, oh, there's a thing there. Can I get that? Royal Jelly restores two effort points. I can't carry more than five. Press down on my thingamabob to eat royal jelly. Okay. Oh, oh! Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Well, not so shitty of an island, is it? Dude talking mad shit on it. There was a thing over here. Yup. All right, more royal jelly. Ah, there's my run button. Can I run down here? Oh, whoa. good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I wear this mask for the orgy. Starts in five. What do you know about my mother? That seems like a little... Where is Lord Mortimer? I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, 
We are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices. Ah, okay, so I can... And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother. Now I'm taking Sarah them back, Bichet. bitch. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Holy moly. Uh, give me back the handkerchief. You will kindly... Yes, I'll use my inspector-graph abilities. Logic. It makes sense. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And I... having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Cool. That ass, though. Oh, your handkerchief, the handkerchief, yeah. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Oh, now I can... Can I go this way? What? I see that. A wooden floorboard. Question where it came from. Yes. I could examine it, but let's do this first. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? Hmm. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. So that's something I'll deal with later, I guess? Uh, open gate. I guess I can't, but... It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Ah, oh, okay. Damn, I wish I had the power of subterfuge. What the hell? There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Rip up floorboard? Yeah, let's do that. Agility! So that cost me three. Oh, shit. There we go. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. That's why I turned out so I crazy. See, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. 
uh, find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in the menu. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Let's examine the food, because that's the most important. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Okay. Uh, examine the key. An iron key completely rusted. Take the key. Damn. Let's take it for now. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. <laughs> she comes back for the keys like, no! Immediately she's killed. The end. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. What does all this mean? Mm, examine the powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. So gun gunpowder? Take the bag? Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. Thank God it fits down my pants. I'm crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. I am convinced. Can I tell you something? I'm convinced that's the wrong choice. I did it because it's a fan Friday. And I wanted to see what happened. But I feel like if I left it there, that would play a major role later. And the game's kind of testing you. That's the vibe I'm getting. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. What? What? Honey. So there's the map of everything so far. That's the pier. Um, let's go to my journal. Emily, she has an immunity to logic. Damn. There's more to be discovered. Inventory. I've got the art of knowing people by their phys physiognomy. Yep. And that. So that's one point to science. I just get it. That's awesome. And handkerchiefs. Okay. That's poor. That's a poor quality key, is what that is. Map, character. So far, so good. Talents. Interesting. Consult your journal. Traits. Charismatic presence. Trusting detective. You know what? This game's pretty deep. Much deeper than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like, talk to people, ask a few questions. Can I go over here and try to get this door open with the key? Question mark? Use the key. Hey! Here we are. Great. Okay, so I've got that little dot over there, which is definitely something I want to look at. I got this over here. Oh, shit. Amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort point by one. Hell fragment yes. Amber. I can start a Jurassic Park. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Examine the broken barrel. Uh huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Ah, uh, I can't science it. Damn. Science locked, but don't I have one science? Hold on. Stand back. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. What a waste. Oh, what a waste. Uh, inventory. Science. What if I were to use that science? So at the beginning of every mission, I can choose to use this if I want to. But I can't right now because it's just like here. Yeah. All right. 
Royal Jelly. Okay, and what was Royal Jelly? Up? Oh, down. Thank you. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. <laughs> Except she didn't have an arm. Anything useful. No, that was a hand. Never Apparently, mind. She was armed. Someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother. And quickly, too. Oof, now it's getting creepy. I really must find you, dear mother. Interesting. So depending on what you choose... Oh, man. So many thoughts. I love this. This is so cool. You know what? Quirky voice acting aside, this is cool. This is super cool. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. Whoa. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. The sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Rope? Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. I'm digging this on like an investigatory level, man. I'm digging it. Although a cultist would be fun to play too, though. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Dear mother. What the hell is this? A Latin inscription. An nesis. Mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. I would clearly. You kidding me? I can pronounce it, but I can't translate it? Get out of town. Get out of town. All right, leave. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? the great and powerful Oz. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Dedice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen. Oh, if boy. It help, you can always give it to me. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story. Don't hesitate to use your skills. I will not. Well, thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Yes, she's been here several weeks. Never mind. Give me your letter. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son. I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her health is invaluable. She's also a freak in I the bed. I hope that follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. 
If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does. What's that shit on your hand, though? That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Hmm. Art collector. Our business is confidential. Damn. Professional secret. Sorry, or we are members of the Golden Order. Hmm. Obviously, I would say professional secret, but I feel like this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the Golden Order is. Fuck it. Let's find out what the Golden Order is. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage me to- Whatever. Shit. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Uh, depends on what it contains. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's do that. Only you know that, your eminence. Each person you meet on the island has... Uh, okay. Yep, I know this. So let's see what happens. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes. Absolutely. Hell yeah. I understand. In truth... It all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God? Zeus Almighty! No other than your mother will read it. Uh, last step. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you either give the right one or have no blunders left. In. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Promise. I don't believe in God. Uh, I mean... God, no other than your mother will read it? No, thank you, no? What? Okay, no worries. Seems like a terrible answer, but sure. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but oh, my I mean, mother that's not okay, no worries. gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Ricci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. And my neck well is broken. Played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Yeah, no, those people are super dead. They are super dead. If mom's missing, ain't no way we're going to save them. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure. So don't hesitate to look for them. I will not. I 
Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. What do we got over here? A map of Europe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Can I ask you a question? Is this one of those paintings that's in every video game ever? Because it's like fair use or something? It looks like it. The legend of what? What's ha- oh my god. It's just still terrifying. Um. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Flip through it. Nope, I can't read. Take that book! Parallel lives, and what does that give me? Plus one to conviction. Yeah, that'll teach Plutarch. No one gets to read Plutarch but me. It's another book. I wish I could take that. Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. Temporary see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. Can't carry more than five. Curiouser and curiouser. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Yo, but like, are these the originals? Does this guy have the originals? Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. He was obsessed with his mom, bro. Take a hint. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. Mm. I thought ah. my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Call nice me Georgie you, boy. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Mm, my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. <laughs> it so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, his me. neck, man. No scrumptious yeah. gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand... Orgy. told y'all! Told y'all! You've come out here to join your mother. 
For what reason, exactly? Mm. She's gone missing. Yeah, just be honest. Fuck. Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. She was Stephen a fine and piece of tape. Afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Oh, weakness? Good lord. Oh, thank God. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. Oh shit, he's one That's of the us. The highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy god. Holy shit. <laughs> That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Uh, say nothing. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Hmm, so many choices. Discover what home knows about my mother? I feel like if I stay with Washington, it's gonna be like, yes, your mother and I totally kicked ass and did a lot of cool stuff. Plus, with her around, I don't know what Emily... Yeah, let's go talk with home. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington. I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. <laughs> All right. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. Who the hell is that? He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was, too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit Jesus down and Christ. have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if... I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Uh, what is the story exactly? Uh, he, yeah, I mean, he knows mom, so let's do this. Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? What is the link between Hillsborough and my mother? What did my mother come here for? Who could have held a grudge against my mom? Is there anyone else missing other than my mother? That's an interesting question. 
do you know if anyone else has gone missing recently? Not at all, sir. It's as if Sarah has purely and simply vanished into thin air. That's right. Just take me for an idiot, why don't you? Not sir. even a servant, then. Not even a servant. I can assure you, we would have been in four. Keep your faith, my son. Only the celebrated Sara de Riche could vanish before our very eyes, and she will reappear. You will see. No! Uh, ma'am? Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? I'll take care of it. Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. Observe the young lady. Her breathing is becoming stable and... Her heart rate, too. Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple. Tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can you tell me something about her? Who is she? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. Sia can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. <sighs> mm, clearly this, right? She's just regained consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? Isegni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't what? matter. What? What? Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Ah, eh, forget it. I was just a talking sheet. It's not a big deal. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Is he just like, what the? Right her mouth, right? That's oh, what I'm looking it's at? naughty to tell lies. I bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But, to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Hmm, is there anything else to... Dialogue timer. When time limit's over, answer's automatically selected. Cool. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. 
That was quick. Damn. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. They didn't render my face. But I do have luscious breasts. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Go to your room. Truly. Mother must be involved. <laughs> you know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! I love that of video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boats. It's a professional broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You got 